Ability analysis will be a new series for my YouTube channel, with videos analyzing some of the abilities present in game. These abilities have not been explained in detail in game, including some of their important aspects that affect how they work. We'll start off this series with our first topic, Strength Amp. Strength Amp is one of the newer mechanics introduced in the game, featured first on Miriam. It has now been featured in skills and abilities in a few characters, with more to come in the future. It is a type of strength up buff, which uses a tiering system, much like skills with skill shift. Basically, when strength amp level 1 is present, the next activation of a strength amp levels it up to level 2. It starts off with self amp level 1, followed by level 2. It can then be leveled up, to team strength amp level 1. To reach team strength amp level 2, strength amp will need to be granted 3 more times, basically having team strength amp level 1 plus self strength amp level 2 before achieving team strength amp level 2. The same process is repeated to reach team strength amp level 3, which is currently the highest team strength amp level. The effects of each strength amp level are as follows. The maximum level of team strength amp is determined by the units with strength amp. For example, Mascula has a maximum team strength amp level of 3, compared to Miriam's level 2. In this case, when they are in the same team, the highest team strength amp level the team can achieve is level 3. When the highest team strength amp level is reached, successive granting of strength amps will only extend its duration. The duration of extension depends on the unit casting the strength amp. If the unit casting it holds the highest maximum team strength amp level, it extends strength amp by the original duration, which is 60 seconds. Otherwise, the extension duration depends on the base extension duration listed on strength amp granting units, which is normally 15 seconds. Unlike skill shift, when team strength amp is not granted upon its expiration, all levels of team strength amp will be lost, reverting back to self amp level 2. Similarly, if self amp's duration has expired, all stacks of self amp will be lost too. This makes keeping up strength amp, incredibly important to teams, who rely on it to gain damage. There are three other key features that set strength amp apart from the typical strength buff. First, it is not affected by buff time. Second, it cannot trigger any form of double buffs, or any effect, that is triggered by normal strength buffs. Third, and most importantly, it is immune to Curse of Nihility, a debuff that prevents normal buffs from being activated, while it is active. Strength Amp's importance is highlighted by its ignorance towards Curse of Nihility, allowing strength increases to be present in quests with Curse of Nihility, such as Dominion stages and certain stages from the Trials of the Mighty. Another one of its strengths is its high strength boost and long uptime. At maximum level of Team Strength Amp, a 60% strength boost is granted, with a duration of 60 seconds. The long base duration tray is shared by all levels, with all levels lasting 60 seconds, except for team amp levels 1 and 2, which last for 30 seconds. Since the duration can be extended by continuously granting it, the highest level of strength amp can potentially be kept up throughout the entire battle. As for its weaknesses, the first is its longer time required to reach optimal levels. As Strength Amp starts off with a meager 3% self strength buff, it takes time before it reaches the higher strength boosts from Team Strength Amp, especially if the unit providing Strength Amp needs more time to grant it. The second weakness is its expiration effect, which removes all levels of the type of Strength Amp previously active. Granted, it is justified by its long duration. To summarize, Strength Amp is an alternate version of the typical Strength Buff, which gets stronger after every casting, and can be also be kept active throughout the whole battle if used properly. Though it shines in stages with Curse of Nihility, it also provides additional source of Strength Boost in other battles. 
This is especially true, since most recent units, especially Gala units that have strength amp, have it as a side effect of their main skill or ability, rather than being their main function. That is all from this episode. Moga out.